this is Matt from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by AppliancePhysio.com. Alright, well what we have here is a central air. Uh, customer's complaint is that it's not blowing cold air. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we had the customer start it up from inside. We're going to go ahead and take the access cap off of the low side. Okay, go ahead. All right, well, the tools that were needed, uh, an electronic scale, refrigerant, R22, a uh, set of gauges, these are 410 gauges and R22, but just regular R22 gauges would work just fine. And uh, just something to weight the hose down is all. And that's all you need to complete the repair. All right, so we're gonna take the cap off, check our low side pressures. Go ahead and hook the gauges on. Make sure your gauge is closed. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, we're only running about 15 pounds pressure, which is very, very low. Uh, right now, we're probably gonna be looking for around 74 pounds or so. So right now it looks like there's a low charge on the unit, a very low charge. So what we're going to do is go inside and we're going to check the furnace filter and make sure that that's clean. Okay, the, the filter really is pretty pretty impacted. So this is going to want to be changed, but for the time being we're just going to leave this out and we are going to this that just allows us to check proper pressure when you have a dirty filter. Okay, uh, well we've removed the furnace filter pressures are still about the same so we did advise the customer to, to change the filter it was pretty impacted uh, so what we're gonna have to do is uh, try to recharge the system here and uh, we did check the registers made sure that there was good airflow coming out of them the airflow is good all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and recharge the system uh, we've got our electronic like a digital scale here that way we can see how much we're actually putting into the unit uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the scale on. And we're going to hook our yellow line up to the refrigerant tank. And then usually what I like to do is just try to set something with some kind of weight on top of the line. That way it's not going to throw the scale off if the line gets bumped. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to zero out the scale. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and lead out. We're going to turn the tank on. again we're gonna bleed out just a little bit of air out of this line until we get to the refrigerant for a second. Go ahead and go a little more in. What about two and a half pounds now? So we're just gonna 
let this equalize for a few minutes and make sure it's gonna hold a decent pressure. All right, well, because our pressures rose so fast, we're thinking that the, the charge was so low that the compressor actually had shut down on us. So what, we're gonna, what we did was we pulled the, the quick disconnect on here and let the compressor sit for a few minutes and we're gonna kick it back in and see if our pressures pull back down because right now we're reading about 85 pounds pressure and we've only put 9.2 ounces in so we haven't even added a pound and the way that the pressures were rising uh, just, just kind of threw a red flag so we're gonna go ahead and put the quick disconnect back in all right, so uh, we just let unplug the disconnect. The compressor had shut down on its overload due to a low charge. Uh, so we hit the, disco the, 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 the disconnect. Uh, we let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Hooked it back in. After uh, about two minutes, the compressor kicked on. Pulled down from the pressure that we had, which was about 85. And now we're back to about 15 pounds or so. So what we're going to do is continue to recharge now. the unit with uh, 5 pounds 11 ounces of refrigerant. Uh, we're running 75 pounds pressure, which is where we want to be on today's temperature. So we're just going to go inside, uh, basically check vent temps, make sure the vent temps are about 15 degrees different from what uh, the air in the house is. Uh, we feel we're moving heat. This line here, the low sides, pretty cold. High side lines, getting hot. So. We know we're moving heat. We got heat coming out of the top of the fan here. So that's what we're looking for. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.